Now that we know everything there is to know about how 3D works, how scripting works, what X, Y, and Zs are, and what local versus global is, let's put this knowledge into practice and add something to our character that he can throw inside of the world. Now in the last couple parts we've been working on a crate prefab and it should be in your prefabs folder and this is the crate right here. Now make sure it's called crate with a small c in all small capital letters and we'll start using that in our script. Now in our scripts folder right click and create a new JavaScript and call this one shoot. Okay we'll use this one for shooting. Now open it up and the update function is already there but before we start messing around in the update function let's first add some variables the first variable that we need is called speed and let's set this variable to a float of 3.0 now remember an integer variable is a whole number a float has a dot so it has decimals now you do note that speed is turning a different color so it's probably a predefined word but in this case it's not going to bug us much so it's fine like this we need a second variable and this variable will call create prefab and let's make this of the type transform as you can see I'm not using a equals sign here I'm just using a column and then transform to make sure that Unity knows that this is a transform variable so in that way it will point back to a game object that is all that we need from here now in the update function we can start writing our code now first of course what we need to do is find out if a fire button is pressed of course you don't want the script to start throwing crates around at will you only want the crate to be thrown when there's actually a button pressed so in this case we'll type if input dot get button down and then this will be a string fire one and everything inside this code is true now make sure you copy everything exactly input with a capital I transform with a capital T get button down with capitals and then fire one okay now it's time for us to create the prefab in 3d and we do this using script and after that we need to add force to the prefab and this way the crate will move around in 3d space now to make a new prefab in 3D space, we'll make a new variable and call it var crate. And this crate we need to instantiate. So type instantiate. And if you type it correctly, it will turn a different color. And the instantiate function, which is predefined by Unity, takes three variables one, two, and three. You have to divide these by comma so that the script knows that you're sending three variables to this function. Okay, the first is what prefab are we going to make? So that is our create prefab as we have defined this variable here. And we simply send that function in here. Next, the variable that the instantiate function needs is the position of where in the world we will create it. Now, we are going to attach this one to the main camera so we just need to type transform dot position and this will send the position of our main camera and then last but not least the third variable is the rotation so and this is done in unity using quaternions now I'll explain this later so for now just type quaternion dot identity which is basically the rotation of our current camera so that it shoots in 3D space okay so this will create our crate now we need to add some force to our crate so our crate has a rigid body attached to it in our prefab so we can use the rigid body functions type crate dot rigid body dot add force and then the force will come from a transform dot forward which is basically shorthand of where the camera is looking towards so basically is a local Z its depth multiplied by a speed of 2000 
All right, let's save this. Let's close our script and then attach our script to our main camera. Now in our main camera you can see that speed is defined as a variable and our create prefab is defined as a variable but our create prefab right now is empty, it's an empty transform variable. Now simply to solve that we just go to prefab and then drag our create right on top of this variable and now it's set. Of course we could do that in script also but why not use the power of the editor to make things happen pretty quickly. Now when I run our game and I use the left control which is our fire button you can see I'm actually shooting out crates into the world. That's pretty cool huh? Now if you want of course you can add some more floors or something to make sure that things bounce off of each other. But that's pretty cool so far. 